So I think this is the last one I'm going to do today. Um, it's a song I wrote called Kites and Nobles, and um, it was, I guess, about 10 years ago. Um, I was reading a thing from this group called the International Solidarity Movement that um, tries to promote nonviolent um, political activism in the occupied territories of Palestine. And um, they were talking about the way that the children in Nablus take the shrapnel um, and basically make kites out of it, which is, which is really cool. Um, just a, a way that children have an innocence in responding to war um, that, that we lose. And so I wrote the song about them and, and you know, I try to make it balanced um, because I know that there are children in, um, in Israel, not in the occupied territories, who, who live um, in fear as well. They say it's a land with no children. Cause the only song is the sound of sirens And the only rhythm is the crash of windows And you'll never know what it's like to never be welcome No country took us so they gave us this one And nobody asked when they gave you our farmland Do you like being part of the empire's master plan And with their gunshots in our ears They try their best to stoke our fears Conscripted by law, conscripted by rage But let's pretend we can declare a battle rage Cause have you seen the kites in Nablus? Shalom Elohim, we're stuffing the soldiers' guns. But you better not call us Abraham's stepsons. There's a lot of wrong that will have to be undone. We're just immigrants. Stop seeing that the emperor sent us. We just wanted to live where nobody would hate us The cowboy sheiks of Armageddon Will pay their billions each year to watch the show But you don't have to be their gladiators what kind of discipline will it take to tell them no? Cause have you seen the kites in Nablus? Allah Akbar, we shall overcome. And have you seen the flowers in Tel Aviv? I'm sure there's some. Shalom Elohim, we're stuffing the soldiers' guns. Actually, I was inspired recently. There's a um, Facebook group that um, where Israelis and Palestinians send messages to each other, expressing their desire for peace, and uh, you know it's slacktivism or whatever. But um, I know that there are lots of people who have peace and love in their hearts, and in both among both peoples, and my prayer is that um, the extremists on all sides would, um, I don't know, be saved. Um, 
Yeah, it'd be beautiful if they were.